She arrived at the house where her father lived. A record is skipping, but stuck can. there. Everything began. Everything began. Everything began when Mr. Marcos Diaz, who had the biggest shop in El Mosote. We know what it is, but we don't quite want to do it in the way that we're going to hear about it in the testimony later on. So this process has been like putting a puzzle together where there's like five different puzzles in the same box. Uh, the playwright himself didn't really know exactly where the testimony would go or how. And it could be a program note, it could be anything. And so I feel that we have, I, we have embraced that confusion physically. So it's, it's kind of been finding a way to, to work with clarity of a certain kind um, that, that, that isn't too clear. It's the first couple of weeks in January, and we're getting together for two weeks to find our common vocabulary, figure out our approach, and get our feet wet. We're really here to figure out how to make this difficult and dark tale interesting and engaging and theatrical. What it's meant is there's been this great exploration, incredibly freeing, about sort of exploding a particular moment emotionally, and it's allowed for it to get very tender and for it to get very... Uh, messy and violent to express uh, this unimaginable experience. There's a whole lot of words and those words evoke some images but they also evoke musicality and the thing that I feel really great about what we've done is we, we understand why there's a broadcaster, not a cashier, not a you know bus driver, a broadcaster, like we understand why that because we found that you need the musicality to tell this story. So even where there, it doesn't say that there should be a song, there's a song. The animals suckle each other, fascinated by the light. Women. Young women. So it's been a good way, I think a playful and a bold way to enter this play. By now the house is in flames. And the fire is attracting all these animals, these cows and calves and dogs. And the sparks are falling on me. 